um, medicines are a whole lot different doctors get nervous to work with me because I'm black and yes we are planning on having kids but not right now Konnichiwa minasan, koko desu. Welcome everybody, I don't know it's a girl, Coco. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my love and hip hop in the background. Can I tell y'all a secret? It's hot. Like, it's really hot. Like, I feel like a dark chocolate muffin in the oven baking right now. Like, so you guys have been asking me to talk about being black, black in, in Japan. Japan. And I've been holding it off because... I don't know, I was just really thinking about it and I wasn't sure how to do it. I was So my phone just overheated and um, I'm not using my front camera. So if things are looking a little bit weird, I'm using my front camera. Ugh, I really don't want to use my front camera. So as I was saying, I didn't really know how to like categorize it. So I decided to do it in a Q&A type. So I did a Q&A on Instagram and I got a lot of good questions and I'm gonna try my best to answer all of them. So my first question is It's a unkoshta every now and then sir. Thanks for your question. My second question is how do you deal with the stairs? Is it really uncomfortable or empowering? Um it's both. It's both empowering and very uncomfortable. It it it's empowering to the point where like when I dress up and I get myself together and I like I do my makeup really nice and I do my hair really nice and like stuff like that. People like I do hear people making comments like nice comments about my hair and my makeup and my body. My body, for example, you guys know I'm not fat. I'm very slim. I'm very skinny. And Japanese girls are all about looking skinny. And it gets really uncomfortable to the point where, like, sometimes I'm just trying to eat. I like, and people are just staring at me like, can I just eat in peace? Like, can I just, I just want to eat. After I finish eating, you can stare at me all you want. I get very uncomfortable at the onsen as well if you don't know what the onsen is it's a public bath that I don't even know how to explain it it's a it's a it's a big room with a lot of showers and this big pool this big hot pool but it should be like a hot tub or something like that and like a lot of people just go there and shower and take a bath in public and I can't even wash my ass in peace like can you just let me wash my ass and go? Name an ignorant comment that was said to you. <sighs> so I remember talking to this guy over the phone. Like I was just trying to make friends and I was talking to this guy. He... <laughs> oh my god. So he like, like, okay, we... In Japan they use this app called Line. And with line, there's like this camera thing with a whole bunch of filters and stuff like that. So I put a filter on with like a really dark mask, kind of like an army type thing. And he sent it to me and he was like, it's black like you. Like for him, it's probably a, a very honest joke, but for me, like that's just racist and rude and disgusting. So I cut him off completely. I stopped talking to him. I don't need that in my life. Don't make those types of jokes about me, sir. Goodbye, good night. How is your overall experience in Japan? Japan is kicking my ass. Like, Japan is nice and it can stress you out at the same time. Sometimes it gets really exciting for me and then sometimes I'm just like, you know what, fuck this, I'm ready to go home. The most annoying thing for me is like the rules. Like there are so many rules here in Japan and like it's just really annoying. Like I'm, I'm a human being, let me live my life. Let me enjoy myself. God damn it. The next question is, can you comment on a story where you felt a microaggression or racism in Japan? When the guy said the filter, the black filter was black like me, 
and there was a time where I was in Namba that's in the city where I like to go a lot um I was walking I was walking by myself by the way and this guy he was walk like he looked like he was in his late 30s he was walking with this other guy they were both Japanese and we walked past each other and he shouted kuro to me if you don't know what kuro means it means black and like oh oh my god I was so oh my gosh I was so angry I wanted to kick his fucking ass but next question is there racism and microaggression towards you while being a stripper or just life no um maybe girls maybe maybe girls would feel like kind of intimidated and try to try to say mean things to make me feel more or less of myself but like i know that that's how they are they're not gonna change so i just do me but otherwise guys for example they're happy they like me and that's all that matters how do you learn to speak japanese well for me i okay first i tried to use books i tried to learn off of books i don't know i just stopped i just stopped studying from the books now i'm just listening to what people say and i just repeat what they say because where like wherever you go in japan the grammar is different people okay I live in Osaka and the most known place in Japan Tokyo people in Osaka talk different from people in Tokyo if I use Tokyo grammar in Osaka people are gonna look like look at me like I'm an alien or something so yeah what's it like living in Japan as a black per peron per oh person girl you're a typo What's it like living in Japan as a black person? Stares, people stare at me, people make racial comments, people get really interested, like they ask me where I'm from and I tell them well, I'm from Jamaica, they tell me oh they love Jamaica and they start talking about Bob Marley and like there's ups and downs about being black in Japan, okay? Also, um, I should say that me not being Japanese, like my body is different and buying clothes here is hell buying clothes here is hell if you come like when you come to like japan like yeah you can find some nice things that fit you and look nice and whatever but for me right now i'm considering ordering off a of fashion nova or one of those websites or something like yeah how do others react to you since you're living in japan now i like but oh like other people you you do know other people like they would say to me like oh my gosh girl you, you, you're not tired of japan yet you don't want to come home yet how is japan treating you have you tried eating any dogs yet any octopuses listen the eating dog stigma lies on chinese people not japanese people i'm not racist towards chinese people i'm just saying the stigma goes for chinese people not japanese people but yeah people just react like like they can't believe that i'm here for so long and like some people know that i really love japan for a longer time and like they're just like oh i know that you 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 always wanted to come to japan how has it been is your like has your dream come true stuff like that what was your best and worst experience due to you being black in japan same as my um, other responses people shouting kuro at me people telling me that I look exactly like a black ass filter like you see you see this right here that's how dark the mask was this thing right here that's how dark the mask was on him on the guy and he's telling me that it's black like me like nigga fuck you how often do you and your husband get stared at when you're together in public every single day girl every single day yeah like i see like one person like okay sometimes people are walking in groups and like one person would see me and they'd be like <laughs> it's ridiculous what was your oh how do you make friends there i don't and i know that's very sad like yeah that's very sad for being in a in a whole new country that speaks a whole new language for a year making friends here is very hard like Japanese people keep their circles very tight like I don't know it's just hard to make friends like some some people try to be friends with me because they want to take a picture with me or they just want to talk to me for 10 minutes and that's it it's really hard and like it's really sad but hey 
When are you planning to go back home to see your family? Do you love JA or Japan as home? I'm going back to Jamaica soon, but I'm not gonna say when. Um, let me know if you wanna see Jamaica vlogs. Well, yeah, of course I'm gonna go I'm gonna do Jamaica vlogs. I'm just checking to see how long this video has been. Okay. Um, do I love Jamaica or Japan more? I really don't know. Okay. Making money in Jamaica is very hard. I'm gonna say that. Violence in Jamaica, it's a lot. Yes, there is violence in Japan, but you're more likely to die from some sickness than to die from gunshot. Yes, someone gets stabbed and killed every now and then, but like, I mean, that's very every now and then. Making money in, Jap um, in Japan, hell yeah, but living in Japan is very costly. Rent? Listen, the cheapest I've seen rent here for for a for a small ass space was about eighty thousand dollars yen. That's like eight hundred dollars US. Am I right? If I'm if I'm wrong, please correct me. But yo, rent here, mm -mm. it's not cheap. If I could, I really don't know. Like I really don't know. If I have like a lot of friends here and I really know Japanese and I'm probably living on my own and have my own vehicle, then I'd probably say yes. I would more most likely consider Japan. But in Jamaica, if the violence goes down, if it's better to make money, stuff like that, then maybe, maybe, maybe Jamaica. I still don't know. How to get a Japanese boyfriend and how... <coughs> How is it like living in Japan? I've answered this. I've answered a question like this before. And how to get a Japanese boyfriend? I have a whole video on that, girl. I have a whole video on that. Go check it out. Best time to visit Japan? Um, I don't know. Like, okay, I don't really know when is the best time to visit. But I would say like later down in the year, when the year has just started. Mm, no things are kind of slow but later down in the year there is like a lot of festival and stuff like that um the sun is out it's not cold if you love the cold then i don't know i don't know i would say later down in the year like from the middle down from the start down no from the middle when do you go back to jamaica soon do you think being a young black woman in japan can be isolating in a way that causes anxiety <sighs> yeah like i said yes 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 um like i said making friends for me i don't know about anybody else making friends is very hard and there's ho there's a whole lot of racism people stare at you and like it's just it's just hard like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh being being black in japan is cool like there's no trouble and whatever like yeah your anxiety does go up a whole lot here but i mean everyone is different so do you get discriminated yes there was something relating to racism that happened to me i'm gonna make a whole story about that so yeah pet peeves while living in japan mm. I would say when I go to a dance hall party and people like girls aren't shy to dance with me and we we all just get pulled in the middle like the cameraman is here making his video the DJ is over there talking and and like I just I don't know I just love that I love that otherwise people getting to know me and where I'm from and like they want to take me out and stuff like that so yeah do you feel like it's because you're not used to the culture and how things are why you are so depressed? I'm depressed for so many reasons. Yeah, racism in Japan is one of them. The food, um, medicines are a whole lot different. Doctors get nervous to work with me because I'm black. Yeah, Japan is definitely a part of my depression. Do the Japanese stare at you a lot? Yes. Can we be best friends? Sure, girl! Japanese game girl. Sure, girl. We can be best of friends. Best of friends. Best of friends, girl! How do you deal with stalkers, creepy people in Japan? Bitch, let me tell you. I make sure to let people know where I'm going. Whatever stop I make, I make sure 
to text my husband or whatever and let them know where I am. I let people know what I'm wearing. I always carry my weapon with me. I let people know that, listen, I'm not here for the bullshit at all. If you gotta say something to me, stay over there, mother and say that shit. You ain't gotta be this close to me to talk to me. You ain't gotta be holding my hands to talk to me. If someone reaches to hold my hand, I flash that shit off. You don't need to hold my hand to talk to me. You got a whole mouth. Stay right over there and say what you gotta say. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I like Coca-Cola too. What about you? You like coffee? I don't really like coffee, it ain't no shit for me. Do you get stares? Yes, a whole lot. Could we totally be friends? Sure, we can be friends. Yeah, we can be friends. We can be friends. When's your birthday? September 6th. I'm not gonna say what year because I'm getting old. When did you go to Japan? I came, okay, my first time to Japan, I really don't remember. Like two years ago or something. But like, I left. I came back here like last year, May. I don't remember. Something like that. Why are you so pretty? And do you get stared at a lot when you're, when you're with your husband? I don't know why I'm so pretty. You gotta ask my mommy and daddy like... I don't know why I'm so pretty as my mommy and daddy. Do you get stared at a lot when you're out with your husband? Yes. Yep. Biggest pros and cons being in Japan. The pro, I've said this before. The biggest pro is the money you get good pay. The con, there's a lot of racism. I don't know any other pros. I don't know any other pros and cons. Another pro that I would say is Japan is very developed. So like, there's a lot of amazing things here in Japan. The con is just racism. That's it. I can't name any other cons. My ass just ran out of space. So, can you recommend any walking stores to buy hair from? Buy hair stuff from, like wigs, for example? No, I don't buy wigs in Japan. Wigs in Japan are shit. If you're a cosplayer, then you can just go into, I don't know, some stores in the city or something. I don't know. Wigs in Japan are bullshit. How long have you been living here? A little over a year. Are you planning on having kids with your husband? And I love you so much. I love you too, girl. And yes, we are planning on having kids, but not right now. We do talk about it all the time, but we're not ready for kids right now. Do people still stare? Yep. How old are you? I'm a new follower. Thank you so much for following me. I love and appreciate your support. Um, how old are you? I am... How and why did you move to Japan? I moved to Japan because my husband invited me. At that time, he was just my boyfriend and then we came to Japan and we got married. Okay, so I know you guys want me to do a how we met video but my husband is kind of very shy right now and he's very insecure about his english so i'm kind of holding it off until he's comfortable because i don't want to do it like like this but like with just me and it i want it to be me and him so he can hear both of our sides to, to the story so yeah so that was it for this black in japan q a i don't know if i'm gonna have a part two of this i think yeah later down the line there's gonna be a part two of this so so that was it for this black in japan q a um i don't know what to say uh thank you guys so much for your love and continued support and your cooperation and all those big words like i just want to give y'all a hug thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.